Okay, well, this is a uh, Ron WD, WB9DKL, right? So we tracked down one of the sources of uh, interference. Well, I got 30 dB of attenuation in on 136 megahertz. We'll go ahead and rotate away from that antenna. You'll hear it drop off. All right, it went silent. Point right at it. And come off it. And we'll do it from the other side, but that's with 30 dB of attenuation. To the suspect pole. Okay, now we're pointed right at the pole. And we'll swing away from it. You can hear the noise dropped off. Come back around. It's that pole right there. Yeah, quiet. So everything triangulates right back to that pole. Get a little audio recording here. And that's with 30 dB of attenuation. So let's let me explain then. In your video, the uh, sine wave is it's a, it's a, a six volt wall work. Yep. So you're picking up the AC yep. out of a six volt. Uh, it's a six volt yep. output out of a wall work. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then. Um, it's, it's the other channel it's, it's is the audio, the audio yeah. from your which radio was it? The FT990. Okay, FT990, and I use. So you can see that the audio is right, right in sync with that 60 hertz from our wall work. The uh, R the oh, R5. Seventeen ten kilohertz. AM radio. This is the interference that uh, W that we've tracked down, and we believe is the source for WB9DKL's problem. So this is the interference at WB9DKL yep. and we're hooked up to your uh, dipole. Dipole. Okay. 80 meter dipole. 80 meter dipole? I, I can go to the vertical if you okay. want. Okay. Well, this is perfect. And then we're going to just, I got AM mode. Uh, yep. AM mode wide filter. So we're just going to record some audio here. with actually my RF gain turned way back down. I'm going to turn RF gain all the way up. And we'll just tune across the band, but you can hear it's just broadband. No matter where we go, 